Hi everybody, this is Sadie Readings and hi my lovely Capricorns. Let's see what's up, what's gonna happen for you in the month of March. Before you join, hit that like button. Okay, and we will see what's going to show up for you. In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. I will also be linking your soulmate reading in the description box, Capricorn. So do have a look, okay? I see a very like vibrant energies that surrounds you. It's like something here about flowers, okay? Something here about good stuff, good stuff. So we have the void. Hmm. Interesting. Show me more. Also stick around until the end of the reading because I will be pulling out handwritten notes for you, for your person's energy as well, and give you your guided message. So stick around until the end. We have sacred sexuality. Uh, and get curious. Nice. I feel like for a lot of you in your relationships, you felt misunderstood oftentimes. But let's see. Let's see. The void. The void can be deeply uncomfortable. It is nothing, an emptiness that penetrates all aspects of self. We may feel blank. What we were once passionate about feels cold to us. We may not be able to see or sense anything about where we are going next. We may enter a void after all that we have known is not what we thought it was. It may feel like a disbelief. It may feel like you don't have any faith. It may feel like you don't know what is real and what is not. This is a part we must surrender to. This may also indicate a time where you are questioning everything you believe in or questioning your significance in the world. When you are in the void, you may have an instinct to fill that empty space. Because we can get uncomfortable here, we may miss some of the lessons. We are taught to constantly push forward. The void teaches us to be still and be okay with uncertainty. Trying to escape this space ensures we stay here or return sooner than we would like. You may have an instinct to fill the emptiness, but remind yourself that emptiness is a prayer. What beautiful message. So I want you to say, I let go of what is worrying me. I let go of what burdens me. And I'm at peace within myself. I let go of what has been worrying me. I let go of what burdens me and I'm at peace within myself. Say it out loud, write it down somewhere, write it in the comments, whatever you gotta do. This card is so beautiful. All right, let's read for you the other card. I cannot say it again and again, that word, because you two be censoring things that don't even need to be censored, you know? Then they're gonna age restrict stuff. Um, sacred, you know, okay, number 66. Uh, this energy is such a layered and potent part of who we are. It can show us our wounds. It can provide healing. It can help us manifest. It can teach us boundaries and can fuel and empower us. It does not mean that your presence or expression needs to look a certain way. It simply means that your sexuality is sacred as it is. It is a core part of your humanity as well as your spiritual and universal self. This card asks you to examine your relationship to your self. Is there anything that needs tending to? Is there anything that needs healing or releasing? All right, now let's 
see what the romance angel oracles have for you capricorn for the month of march show me what i need to see for capricorn show me what i need to see for capricorn What do we have for Capricorn for the month of March 2023? Pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you. So if there's somebody in relationship, you feel like, oh, it looks like there's something wrong with that person, then there probably is. Okay, Capricorn, then there probably is. Let's see. We have expressed your love. So if you don't feel like engaging with somebody, then don't. Um, but if you do feel like there's like you're connecting with somebody and there's something up with them, then trust that feeling. Let's see. But I feel like most of this reading is encouraging you to um, Feel comfortable with how far you've come and within yourself as well. You you don't constantly need to do, do, do things, you know. Um, so you have judgment, eight of six of pentacles, page of pentacles. There may be a decision in regards to money and it's going to be good, okay? Something nice in your money is showing up here. Maybe you're going to get a pay raise or there's a lump sum of money you may get from somewhere. Or with that page of pentacles, you may also be starting something fresh. Page of pentacles is an energy where that person says, I'm ready for growth. Okay, I'm open to growth and I'm ready for growth. So I like that energy. I see a lot of expansion in that energy. And with that judgment card being there with the six of pentacles, I feel like uh, Capricorn, you have a lot of awareness and you're approaching the situation with a lot of awareness and I love it for you. Okay. Let's see. So there, there's something positive that you can expect with your money, creating some form of balance, perhaps even starting something fresh. Trust your intuition, okay? Oh, there may be somebody deceptive coming your way, so be careful with, with that energy. This is a person you are withdrawing from or you have left behind in the past. Uh, I'm also going to warn you, especially if you're trying to make money-related decisions, then don't trust people easily. Make your own decisions because it's like somebody's very clever, very cunning and they may confuse you with that two of pentacles it's like you already have things going on for you and then this person comes in and gives you their two cents and then you're like oh i didn't think of that so don't let anybody instill doubts okay in your mind i see a lot of healing taking place but i also see somebody from the past coming into your life who you may be avoiding okay Eight of Cups, the lovers. Yeah, see, this is a lover that you're avoiding, Capricorn. There is, there is somebody you're avoiding and they're showing up in your energy. With that star card, you may be like, oh, but I've already outgrown this person or I've already decided to let go. And why is this person showing up now? Well, well, well. Let's see, what do we have for Capricorn? Let's see what blessings are coming for Capricorn. King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something here about your money, your goals, your business. Uh, that's your blessing. Some of you are going to get promoted or like there's like a sense of stability here in your energy. You're also going to feel much more secure within yourself as a person. You're going to feel much better. Okay. What's the challenge for Capricorn? What's the challenge? 
the world, closing cycles. I feel like sometimes you close cycles, but then you doubt if that was the right decision you made. And your challenge here is to let go of what no longer serves you so that you can sp make space for what is for you. The world card can also represent success, victory. So it may be also telling you to take a step back and really celebrate your wins. Um, okay. What is the advice for Capricorn in regards to their challenge? I'm seeing Leo energy. I'm seeing Aquarius, Taurus energy significantly in this reading maybe even pisces advice uh, libra energy justice there you are so i feel like you're very very focused on work i feel like this is something that's far you know it's extending you know march energy so this could be next three to six months for you i see you very determined to achieve something very goal oriented very goal focused um capricorn and with that justice being there, I feel like um, Spirit is telling you to do the right thing. <sighs> Making the rational decision and keeping it balanced. You know, anything that you're doing in excess is not really going to help you. So you may need to look at your life and see where you, you can cultivate more balance. Um, that's it, you know, this is very beautiful energy. The Justice card is asking for some sort of balance and rationality. Who is coming towards Capricorn, please? If you want to know more about this person's thoughts and feelings for you, check out the extended link below. And what blessings may be coming your way in your challenge, more in depth. So let's see, what do we have for Capricorn? Six of Cups. Yeah, this is a return of a pause person. This is somebody you've known for a long time. You and this person have great memories together. That person I see coming towards you. But again, Spirit is reminding you to not ignore the red flags that somebody may be coming, up, coming with, <laughs> okay? Show me more for Capricorn, please. Tower reverse. Oh, they don't want to let you go. But Capricorn, why would you go back and repeat a cycle that you've outgrown? That's why, you know, Spirit is telling you to be very careful with who you are opening yourself up to emotionally because Tower Reverse in relationships can be an energy of avoiding a disaster or something here that didn't work out to begin with. Strength card. Yeah, somebody here wants to come back in your life. Like they're not really accepting that ending between you and them. Show me what I need to see for Capricorn, please. Show me what I need to see for Capricorn. Silence, no action. So this person has been silent. They have not been taking action towards you. Um, finding out you may have found out something about them spend time with your loved ones more i feel like spirit is telling you that if there is something you already know about this person then keep that in mind and silence is also you know uh, what is that saying it's an answer silence is an answer or i don't know something like that spirit is telling you to spend more time with the people you love people who care about you now don't mind if this person does show you that they care then that's your choice whether to go back or not but if you already know the truth about them if you already know what's up then that is your answer right there what is the outcome for the month of march for capricorn what is the outcome please
Knight of Wands. I like it. So there's a lot of forward movement, swift forward movement. Some of you may be traveling, exploring. This month, if you really step outside your comfort zone, you're going to see that it's really going to pay off for you, Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race, but Knight of Pentacles is an energy of perseverance. I love it. I love your energy. Any general messages for Capricorn? Not a source. There's a lot of night energy. I'm also seeing people coming towards you. Like there could be more than one person maybe coming towards you. But I see a lot of action here being taken and a lot of forward movement. Eight of Wands. See? <laughs> um, I see here that there's going to be in the month of Mars, there's going to be focus on communication for you. Some of you might also be traveling Capricorn. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Um, let's see. If you have a question on your mind, let's see what is the answer to that question, Capricorn. And before I pull your answer, I want you to hit the like button, okay? Show me what I need to see for Capricorn. Abundance. I want you to say I'm claiming the abundance that is coming to me now. And I could already feel it with your energy, like from the reading, that there is a very abundant energy that surrounds you. So you have abundance coming your way. This is a time for you to claim it. Seize the opportunity when it comes up, right? Look at this. They're not admitting, but they love you. Now, whoever this person is, Capricorn, they have a habit of hiding their feelings, hiding their intentions. Look at that. I just said that. Mask, not showing true feelings, hiding. Yeah, they're, they're not admitting, but they're still in love with you and there's separation between you two. Show me more for Capricorn. They're very attracted to you. There's someone much better out there for you. So if, if you're a past person, you just feel like they're not worth your time and energy, then Spirit is saying, yes, there is somebody much better for you. Okay? So that's about it, Capricorn. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the extended link in the description box below. Take care and bye-bye.